sun is out and the nation is gripped with Euro 2012 football fever. Looks like summer has finally found us. To celebrate, kick back whilst we regale you with the latest goings on in this EA update. Conspiracy theorists had better start prepping their keyboards as the Secret World final beta weekend has begun. This much anticipated modern day MMO which builds on well known real life myths and legends will have players logging on to unravel mysteries, join secret societies and battle it out in massive PvP locations. With this final beta, dubbed The Battle Begins, players can access all content from previous beta weekends, plus brand new PvP gameplay. Ever fancy to fight on Stonehenge? Now's your chance. Fancy a slice of the action? Register via the game's official site now for access to the three-day beta bonanza. World domination just came one step closer. Battlefield 3 Close Quarters is finally available to players using the PlayStation Store and the Battlefield 3 in-game store. The second expansion pack introduces four new maps, two new modes, ten new weapons and ten new assignments. But it won't just be numbers that it crunches, as Frostbite 2's HD destruction means the world will come falling down around you as you compete in new modes Gunmaster and Conquest Domination. Lucky they issue helmets with those fatigues. EA Sports has released a brand new video talking fans through hockey IQ for goalies in NHL 13. In this quick clip, producer Sean Ramjag Singh compares the new title to NHL 12 and how goalies are now aware of every player on the ice and can anticipate passing opportunities accordingly, making for a much more strategic game. With Hockey IQ, AI players can now recognise more threats and play more positional tactics, limiting the puck carrier's options. NHL 13 will also feature the all new GM Connected and NHL Moments Live modes, worth buying a big foam finger for. In other NHL news, EA Sports and NHL.com have just announced the results of the first ever NHL cover vote campaign, which gave fans the opportunity to pick which professional player would be the face of the franchise. There were almost 26 million votes cast to ultimately select Claude Giroux as the NHL 13 cover athlete, beating Nashville Predators goalie Pekka Rinne in the final. If that doesn't earn your bragging rights in the locker room, I don't know what will. Medal of Honor Warfighter has recently announced their partnership with Magpul, crafters of rifle magazines, weapon components, accessories and complete firearm designs. At the international photo shoot for Medal of Honor Warfighter, where 12 tier 1 operators were outfitted representing the 10 different nations in the game, Magpul were on the scene supplying their entire line of state of the art parts and their industry expertise to help ensure everything was as authentic as possible. Standard issue? Ta! We'll take an unfair advantage any day. Speaking of Medal of Honor, fans now have an exciting opportunity to ask questions to a former Tier 1 operative through the Medal of Honor Warfighter Facebook and Twitter pages. Simply click the links below, go to the Ask a Tier 1 Facebook post and leave your question in the comments below, or if you're on Twitter, follow Medal of Honor and tweet your question with the hashtag Ask a Tier 1. Answers will be posted on Tuesday, June 26th, and no asking if they go commando. That's all from the CA update. We'll see you back here for more bite-sized news in about seven days. See you then.